Hi, it's Midnight Mule and this is an unplanned video. Uh, I just thought I'd put it out there what it's like when something doesn't go right. As an Aspie, one of my coping strategies is to build in lots of contingency and fortunately most of the time it's not needed and sometimes even when you build in it's not enough. So um, there was a meeting today relevant to work up in Manchester which is just over an hour's drive from where I live and the meeting is six o'clock this evening. So what I did to make sure I could make it I decided to work from home and then get a train just after four, 11 minutes past four, get into Manchester around about five o'clock, 40 minute walk from the station, I don't mind walking. So I've got, as long as I get to the station here on time, which I did, if the train's a little bit late, that's fine. If my journey to the station's a bit late, I'm still all right. If the train arrived in Manchester a little bit late, I'm still all right. Uh, if I hurt my leg, I'd probably still get there on time. So lots of different reasonable contingency built in. Often people think I go over the top with these sort of things, but I I need to be able to be nice and calm and make sure everything's okay. So I got to the station, which was Crew. That's the nearest large station. Straight line to Manchester Piccadilly, not a problem. But then when I got there, there were announcements about trains being cancelled, etc. And as it happened, my train because there's an overhead power failure, you'll see here, it's cancelled. So I took this screenshot from my phone. When I took it, the train was between London, Euston and Stafford, and it was cancelled in crew, cancelled in Wimslow, because there was an overhead power failure, and it would pick up in Stockport and go to Manchester Piccadilly. Now, of course, uh, the train company, they have contingency. So if I want to go to Manchester Piccadilly, I'd have to go down to Stoke, and then from Stoke, I can get a train up to Manchester. But then that leaves it really tight arriving at Manchester Piccadilly, assuming all those connections go OK and those trains aren't too full to then get to the meeting. And there's no guarantee the power would be back on when I want to come back. So I could have ended up coming back really late and I could just feel myself getting more and more anxious, deciding what am I going to do? So in the end, I aborted it and I guess because of my age and who I am, I'm very fortunate that the ultimate thing I always build into my plan is I have to have an abort strategy. And if if there's an event or something I need to go to or something else I need to do, I have to have a strategy to abort it. Otherwise, I can't do it. I need to know I've always got that option. And having that option there makes it a little bit easier for me to handle things. Now, had it been the case that I decided to drive to Manchester, it would have taken over an hour really because of it's near the rush hour I would have built in probably more contingency and there'd have to be major things going wrong for me to not be able to make it but I just fancied if I sit in a train it should be relaxing enough oh it was a first class ticket because I can't handle being around lots of people but anyway I just thought I'd put it out here so you can see what it's like when things go wrong in my mind this is one of the downsides of being an Aspie and it shows, if you don't mind me saying so, how pathetic we can be sometimes.